Right, so here's where you have to get organized. I'm going to make the pipe nipples for the project. And when I look at the project, I saw that there was a one quarter inch NPT nipple and a one half inch NPT nipple. So I have opened up one of those XML charts and I opened it up using Excel. You can do it in uh, Google Spreadsheets, but I'm using Excel. And I see a bunch of stuff that I don't need. So I'm just going to erase stuff that doesn't look like I need it. Because I'm not going to export these. I'm going to just, um, uh, let's see. So where do I, where do I go to merge those? There it is right there. Cells, I don't think I can. Can I merge those? No. So, uh, right here. Let's see. I wonder why I can't merge them. Probably because of all this stuff up here. But I'm going to label this. This is going to be my one quarter inch NPT. And I looked up different lengths. There's something called a close nipple, short nipple, and long nipple. And so I'm just going to choose short nipple. And then what are my dimensions? Well, one of them is a one quarter inch. So that means uh, the length is one and a half. I'm just reading reading this one quarter inch becomes one and a half long length 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 pi up oh, there it is 1.5 inch the pipe length my outside diameter here it is 0.63 is my outside diameter Now I have to go find what my inside diameter is. Here's steel pipe, quarter inch. Oh, external diameter, 0.54. Inside diameter. Quarter inch, oh, yeah, quarter inch. And my internal diameter is 0.36. And it's one and a half long. So that's what I'm going to put on it. I don't know why this red. Uh, that's a 0.54. Don't know why there's a difference there. Could be that um, that because of this extra material up over here. We're just going to make it out of a piece of pipe. Okay. So there's my quarter inch. Let me make a copy of that if I can. The V not letting me. Something wrong with all this. Um, trouble here. Copy and paste the vowels. There we go. That's gone going to do that right up here too. I don't like it, it opened it up with kind of a weird format so I'll just copy and just paste right back on it. Paste it with uh, just value. Oh now those values are locked in. Okay so now this is going to be a half inch NPT. How big is a half inch in? It also is one and a half long. And how big is my half inch pipe? 0. 0.840. And an inside diameter of 0. 0.622. And again, it's going to be one and a half long. 
And now, I don't know, this is going to have to change to one quarter NPT. And I actually don't know what that's going to be. I'm going to just delete it. It's going to show up for me when I put it on. These all become one quarter NPT. And these ones stay at one half. So now I've got my data. This is what I'm talking about when I say make a parametric table for each one. I want to have this data all right here, ready for me. Take that, put it down here so it doesn't look quite so bad. There it goes. And then if I want to, I can get rid of all this. So there's a lot of just kind of like dinking around in Excel, but that's how you do it. Now I've got my quarter inch NPT and my half inch NPT. I took it from a thread standard. And sometimes I like to put my references so people know where I got that information. This then becomes a standalone document file. Save as. And it's going to be an Excel workbook. That's fine. I can make it an XML too if I want. But this is going to be my NPT nipple parametric tables. And now I can just come to this table and quickly make my parts when I need it. So I'm going to move this over. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to open up my base. Here's my base design. I'm just following the process that I had before. I made a base design. Now I've made a parametric table. Then I looked up my actuals, and now I'm going to actually change this to be correct. So remember, I have to go open up my parametric tables. And I'm going to I'm going to make these go side by side. I hope. There they are. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is my half inch. See if that's true. Half inch NPT short nipple. So I need to save this as file. Save as 1.5. NPT short nipple. There, that's my file. One half NPT short nipple. And now I actually have to make those changes. 0 0.84, 0 0.622, 1.5. Now, I think this half-inch NPT is all correct, but I'm going to go just change over here and make sure. Oop. Yeah, half-inch NPT. So that all looks correct. So I've got half-inch NPT on each end. Now, there are other things I can do if I want to make this. I can talk about thread relief and a piece in the middle and things on the end. But this is my basic part, half inch NPT, save. Now let's go down and look at my quarter inch NPT. I want to make my quarter inch NPT file, so save as. It's a 1.25, no. That wasn't 1.5, it would have been 
So a 0 0.25 quarter inch NPT short nipple. We'll go rename that other one later. Now my parameters, and I'm going to change the inside first to make it. I'll, I'll skip making problems that way. 0 0.540 on the outside. Now this thread should be a one quarter NPT. And this other thread should be a one quarter NPT. There, I just have my two parts made. So the trick is to make these parameter tables and get them all filled out correctly and now I've got my instant instance part. I'm going to go look and see. I think I have to change the name here. This point two five. this should be a 0 0.5. So what have I got in here? I've got a 0.25 NPT short nipple, a 0.5 NPT short nipple, and I have my base design, and I have my parametric table, and I have my original XML document. So you get a lot of files all put together, and I want you to keep these all in one place. I'm uploading them one at a time as I go as I go but these are all getting collected in one place. You really need to keep track of your files. So by the time I'm done I have for nipples I have a standard base design. I have an IPT for each size that belongs in my assembly. And I have a parametric table that I can go to. And in my parametric table, I have a link to the data that I got this information from. This is part of good document control for a design. There we go. Now you need to do that for your bushings and any other things that have lots of different uh, sizes. I think for you right now, you need the nipples and you need the bushings as the primary parts that are different. And then I'll show you how to make the base block, the block housing different, and the um, and the piston different too, for different variations.